How you doing? I'm meteorologist Paul Dieno, and today we're going to talk about meteo tsunamis, which sounds like a really technical term, but let's break it down first. Uh, likely we've all heard of the term tsunami. That's the really big wave that can get kicked up in the ocean when you have a very strong earthquake. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is a meteo tsunami, which would be a large wave that stays the same, but it's a large wave which is caused by weather, not by an earthquake. So this would be a weather caused event and it causes large waves specifically on Lake Michigan. Here's the tricky part when it comes to a meteo tsunami. The weather event that causes the big wave might be hundreds of miles away and that can be a problem because you don't know that that wave or that series of waves is coming. The thunderstorm causing it, the wind causing it, the low pressure area causing it might be 200 miles upstream, but you are going to feel the weather impact right here in the Chicago area. Most of the time, a meteo tsunami on Lake Michigan and the Chicago area means some higher than normal waves or perhaps an increased risk of rip currents, which can be a problem, but isn't a big problem. But sometimes it can be a huge problem. Think back to June 26, 1954, when a wave estimated at six to eight feet high came out of nowhere and drowned eight people in a matter of minutes. People don't understand how strong water can be even if they're an extremely good swimmer, conditions like right now are very hazardous. A fella had walked through there and he got hit by a wave, came up to his waist. So now we've talked about meteor tsunamis being a problem. How does climate change play into all of this? And the answer is it can in several different ways. First off, with rising water levels all around the planet, that means Lake Michigan's getting higher too. And if you think of Lake Michigan as a bathtub, if you get the water higher up in the bathtub, there's a higher chance that something coming along or something causing a ripple in the water will cause more problems and cause more water to spill out of that bathtub. Well, the same thing with Lake Michigan. Uh, as that water level gets higher, you have more problems along the coastline, including in and around Chicago, with any storms that come by. The next thing with climate change is that we're seeing more frequent storms. A strong isolated thunderstorm Monday afternoon. Rooted by strong winds. With heavy rain blowing into the houses off the Another window. round of severe weather could move through tomorrow. A series of thunderstorms, some big wind events are all the catalysts or what causes these meteo tsunamis to happen. And with more of those events happening, there's an increased likelihood we're going to be seeing more of these big waves in the future. One last thing I want to add is, is that these meteo tsunamis are not something that you need to worry about every day, but anytime you're near the waters of Lake Michigan, you need to make sure that you and your kids use extra caution because in a changing climate, the water is going to get rougher and the danger is going to increase. I'm meteorologist Paul Dieno for NBC5 News.